Hey there, I'm Silly Tilly. I'm an acrylic painter excited to share my passion with you and other like-minded lovers of art, nature, and the awe-inspiring creator of it all. My creativity is awakened by the outdoors, the changing seasons of rebirth and fresh starts. When I see the beauty while out skiing or hiking, I can't help but respond by putting my own beauty into the world. It's really an act of worship and a response of praise. I hope to inspire others to get out in nature and begin worshiping along with me. If anything gets my creative juices flowing, it's music. Dancing and singing fill me with happiness. So I fell in love with a music man named Sam. Our love inspires many of my paintings, and I couldn't be more grateful for how he's always encouraging me in my art practice. Painting is my daily practice. Each painting is very detailed, which requires me to use tiny brushes, even on a big canvas. The large ones take at least two months and sometimes longer. I spend over 250 hours at least on each painting, and I approach all my art with the intention to learn and try something new. I used to paint more on the realist spectrum. I did this for about 13 years, only playing around with cartoons every once in a while. I never really saw them as real artwork. I thought I needed to paint photorealist work to be considered a real artist. But I was not satisfied with my work either, because it never gave me that feeling I would get when I was really out in nature, listening to the waterfalls and dancing to the music of the birds. Thankfully, while I was traveling in New Zealand, I saw swirly paintings with bright colors that opened up a whole new world for me. I began painting whimsical artwork in late 2017, and my passion has not stopped growing since. Now I find the emotions I'm looking for in the artwork. That sense of being in God's presence, while out in nature, where everything that catches your eye blows your mind and fills you with a sense of gratitude. If I had to choose one feeling to portray in my artwork, it would be the peace of God's presence, 